Welcome to Genuity Science Genomic Centre. We're going to focus today on the journey of a blood sample, from our volunteers' blood sample right through to genomic sequence. Let me introduce you to some of our amazing team and technology. Welcome to sample reception. This is the first laboratory that the blood samples are received into. The samples are usually delivered in these transport boxes. They're pseudo-anonymized, which means we don't have any personal identifiers associated with the samples, just these barcodes. They're scanned into our sample reception software, and this allows them to be entered into the laboratory for all future work processes. Once scanned, the samples are then passed on to sample processing. So this is sample processing. In this lab, we extract DNA and RNA from multiple sample types. We use the Flexstar automation DNA extraction machines for extracting DNA from blood, saliva, and buffy coat. We process 30 samples at a time, and we elute the samples into 2D tubes, which we use for sample tracking. After extraction, we process the DNA samples for PC using our Hamilton liquid handling robots. During this robust process, we determine the concentration, the purity, and the integrity of the sample. Once we complete DNA and RNA extraction and sample PC, we pass the samples through in a 96 well format to pre-PCR, where they will begin by the prep. Once the plate is passed through from sample processing into this lab, this is where we carry out DNA and RNA library preparation on our Hamilton automated liquid handlers. This is a Covaris, so we use this for library preparation before sequencing of samples. So these are two Hamiltons in pre-PCR. This is where we carry out DNA and RNA library preparation. Once library preparation is carried out, we'll move our sample plate into the post-PCR lab where we can carry out QC and sample sequencing. So when the samples come through from the isolation lab, they'll be at a standardised concentration. They'll be high quality samples, OD impurity. We take them forward for genotyping as part of the sequencing workflow. Genotyping samples are taken through over a three day process where the samples are amplified, fragmented and precipitated. To do this, we use a series of ovens, shakers and heat blocks. After that, samples are broken out from the 96 well plate across four chips, 24 samples per chip, loaded onto those chips using this TCAN Freedom Evo, and then go back into the oven for hybridization before coming out again to be stained on this instrument. Once the samples have been stained, they're then loaded onto the eye scan for imaging. Here we have the auto loader, which is, uh, allows us automate high throughput scanning into the eye scan imager here. And here you can see some of the imaging taking place at the moment. Once the data from the genotyping has been analysed, we look at concordance checks, we look at gender, duplicate analysis. The QC values for that are used as part of the sequencing workflow to pass samples for sequencing. So welcome to the sequencing lab. As you'll notice, it's a lot noisier than the outside lab. This is due to the airflow systems that we have in this laboratory to ensure that all the instruments are kept at a very normalised temperature. The first instrument we use is the Hamilton Microlab Star. This is responsible for making up the QPCR plate that we use to quantify all of our libraries. This is then moving across to run on our light cycler instrument. This allows us to quantify up to 96 libraries in an hour. Once that's complete, the data from this is then pulled back onto the Hamilton to allow us to load the libraries together. So after the QPCR, the data for each of the libraries is pulled onto the Hamilton. It then takes each of these libraries, reduces the concentration so that they're all equal, and then pulls them together into a single tube. The tube is then loaded into the cluster cartridge reagent and loaded onto the Nova seat. The flow cells themselves, and this is where the sequencing occurs, allow us to do on a single flow cell at least 24 genomes on an S4. This is then inserted into the instrument and allows us to perform the run. Each run takes around 48 hours for whole genome or 24 hours for single cell. So, once the sequencing is complete, all of our data from the sequencing instruments is uploaded directly into the cloud. From there, the data is processed through our analytics pipeline and the data produced. 